Hello and welcome to my third video where today we're going to be tackling Jerry, the computer, not the person. Jerry is, in my opinion, the easiest Windows box on Hackbox. If we do it right, it should take about 10 minutes to get from here to root. So why don't we get started? Since we last went online, I created a script that just does a few basic principles for when I start my machines. It's called start. So I go start slash sh, and then I create my folder, and then I give the IP address. So what you can see it does is it creates a directory and a notes file, places that in the directory, and then runs an nmap script. Once the script is done, notes will open automatically, and from there we can begin our enumeration. Now if we wanted to, as I've said before, while nmap runs we could start other enumeration, but look, it's already done. So why don't we go to 10.10.10.95.8080 and see what we got. It's an Apache Tomcat server. So what that tells us is from here, it looks like it's not completely set up. It's successfully installed. So why don't we do some enumeration? Now what I have here is GoBuster. GoBuster and DirtBuster, two very common tools that we use for enumerating different directories within web servers. I have it set to go for the web server on port 8080. Now when you're doing this, make sure you have colon 8080. A lot of people will forget to add the port number since this isn't a standard port 80 web server. You need to make sure you specify that. I use a standard word list that I think most people tend to use when they first start enumerating, which is the medium Durbuster list. And then if you use Durbuster, typically you only have .php set. But when I set this up, I have it set for PHP, text, and HTML. So let's launch that. Now, see a status 302, status 302 example. So I'm not gonna be able to get at this stuff right away. What we're looking for is a status code 200, something that we can access and something that we can navigate to. Now, I already know where we're going because I've done this machine once before, but for now, let's just keep waiting and seeing if we can find anything. In the meantime, I'll show you why we can't get there. Here to have lost connection briefly. This machine has been relatively iffy, and that will be your trouble. As I said before, we're going to start trying to navigate to these to see why they might not be of anything useful. So you can see here, it's typical Apache Tomcat post installation documentation. Nothing that we really want to concern ourselves with at the moment. Now this is interesting, now we have a logon page, but we have no other ports open and no enumeration beyond that initial configuration. So at this point what I would do is maybe start trying to fuzz our way in with various common credentials. So I'm gonna go admin, password, nothing. Admin, admin, nothing. And it appears as though nothing happened, but you have to remember that this server was just configured. So maybe we're looking for default credentials. And when we see this, Right here, you can see that, for example, to add a manager GUI role to a username Tomcat, the password is secret. Add it to the following, to the config file listed above. Now you have to assume that there's a lazy developer out there who used this example and maybe you just went straight in. So I'm gonna go back to my notes and I'm gonna add Tomcat and secret. Because our session's cached, I'm going to exit out of my browser and bring it right back in. So let's go Tomcat this time and let's go Secret. And it appears as though, again, I've lost connection. So I'm going to stop my GoBuster. You're going to lose me when I go like this. Okay, I'm back. 
it's been quite a while. The machine has failed multiple times. I had to stop the instance, restart the instance, and I think I've got it connected again. So I'm going to try to jump through this as quickly as I can. Basically, where we're at right now is that we have the Tomcat Web Application Manager, which is relatively straightforward, plus one file that I already uploaded because I didn't want to lose it again. So what happens here is each of these is the accessible directories or application that you've already configured. Since this is just immediately post-installation, there's really not a whole lot that we care about. But what we do see down here is the ability to deploy a WAR file. Anytime that we see the ability to upload our own file, we should be thinking, how can we upload a payload that can communicate right back to us? How can we get access back to us? Now, in this case, there is a website, if you are not familiar with how to use MSF Venom, that gives you a cheat sheet on how you may want to build a payload. MSF Venom, of course, being the tool that helps generate these payloads to help communicate right back to you. Now you see here we have the war file, which is what I use to configure my kenobi.war. I set it to my IP address, port 4545, and it's communicating right back to me. So what I'll do is I'll launch my Netcat listener on 4545 and then click on Kenobi and hope that I don't lose the machine again. So I lost the machine again. Okay, I'm back. I'm done trying to start the whole conversation over again at that point. So what I'm doing now is I just refresh the page, Kenobi loaded, I'm connected back to me and you can see that I am system, which means I can run whatever I want. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to the hack the box location where they typically keep all the files. And I'm gonna learn how to type not in a panic. All right, so we're done. You can see that we have both flags there. Now, what I did there to kind of back up a little bit because I didn't want to lose the connection again before I could explain everything, was within Hackabox, typically you find the root flag under the administrator user on Windows. Uh, it's under the root user, of course, on Linux. Sometimes you'll find the user flag on Windows under a public folder or under a different user. Typically, that's how it is. But and the reason why I said this was one of the easiest boxes is because as soon as you get one flag, you get both of them in this. So that was, I get it, a little quick towards the end, but this machine has been a pain in the ass. I suspect there's a lot of people on tonight, given the quarantine, there's been quite a few nights where I've had problems connected. So I'm just gonna forget about it and thank you all for watching again.